Hey there, it's Allison, your independent sales consultant with Norwex. Thank you so much for agreeing to host a workshop with me. And I just really appreciate you wanting to support my small business and get some amazing products into your home and introducing it to your friends and family. I wanted to make this video so that I could share with you a couple of tips that are going to help us to get to the best Facebook party that we can. Okay. My goal for you is to have a thousand dollars in sales. Because at that $1,000 level, plus just one booking, you unlock all of the fantastic things that Norwex has to offer its hosts. They're crazy generous with their free products, and that is the largest package that is possible. Okay, I'm going to do the best job that I can in order to have that happen and give you a couple of tips so that we can accomplish this together. Okay, Because this is a team effort. We both need to have some amazing fun while we're doing this. Tip number one, invites need to be personal invitations. We don't want mass messaging. We don't want group texting because those things seem very impersonal and they seem spammy and they're quite annoying. Okay. We want personal invites. I have a video that I'm going to send to you in just a little bit. That's going to show you how you can invite a whole lot of people and it's not really time consuming. Okay. Tip number two, how many people you don't want to invite between 50 and hundred people because 25% of them are going to actually participate in the group and on average to get to that thousand dollar level you need between 15 15 and 20 buying guests okay of course that depends on how much people buy but you need between you usually need between 15 and 20 buying guests to get to that thousand dollar level okay so tip number three interaction in the party your interaction and your participation is vital to the success of the group you not only liking comments, but actually commenting on posts, tagging people in posts, responding to questions if you know the answers for them. When you tag people in a post, it actually shows that you're thinking about them. If you know that Sarah's not happy with her mop system, when the mop, tag, when the mop post comes up, tag her in the post. There's a whole lot of information that's going to be coming out during this workshop. And if people are have their attention drawn to something specific. They know that they've been thought of. They know that they've been cared about and it's a little bit less information that they have to go sifting through in order to find things that would be important to them. Okay. So tag people, comment, answer questions. If you want to make live videos, if you want to post about something, if you've got a favorite product and you want to tell your friends about it, by all means, this is your Facebook party too. You can make posts just like I can. Okay. Now, as we're going through this, I'll be sending you host tips of the day, which are an optional optional thing that you can do to promote your interaction in the group because I'll be interacting as well. I'll be commenting on things and answering people's questions and all the different things that, just like you would, okay? Imagine inviting a bunch of people to your house for an in-home party and going to bedroom and locking yourself away. Your guests are going to be like, um, what, what is happening here? That's, that's not really cool. So you want to make sure that we're both present and we're both participating in what's going to happen. So I talked about your host tips for the day and my three tips and that's it. So I'm really excited to work with you and get this, get this going for you. So go team. And we're going to have a fantastic, fantastic workshop. So I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.